He promised it. And to those who are suffering, to those who are weeping and mourning because of the death of their loved ones, when you have Jesus Christ in your life, Paul is always telling it to the people then that there is a great comfort in his second coming. And many people were led into that faith. Even Pastor Dan Mora have seen all these people coming to Christ because of that belief. Jonathan, you embrace that kind of belief in your family. Alvin, si Ma'am Malu, tayong lahat mga kapatid na ang ating pananalig sa Bibli ay kayo nalaman. We believe in Jesus Christ, in His death, in His resurrection, and someday in His coming very, very soon. Amen? So mga kapatid, I would like to refresh to you the preaching of Apostle Paul in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. This is how Apostle Paul gave comfort to the fellow believers in Christ in his time. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who are no hope, who, who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For those we say, for this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in him. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with his words. The last word of Apostle Paul says, Therefore, let us comfort one another with these words. And the, word, and the words that Paul is saying is this, verse 15. For this we say to you, by the word of the Lord. So the comfort that brings us here this evening in the midst of sorrow and grief sa pagkamatay at pamamahinga ni Pastor Dan Mora kukuha tayo ng ating kaaliwan mula sa salita ng Panginoon. Yun lang po ang great comforter na ating mapapukunan sa tabi ito from the word of the Lord. What we have in the word of the Lord. In this particular verse alone or text alone, we can see the teaching of the, of the, of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The reality of life. The reality of life is that there will be resting and for those who believe in Jesus Christ there would be a resurrection and there would be a reunion and then finally there would be a rejoicing in the word of God it is says I do not want you to be ignorant brethren concerning those who have fallen asleep they just resting in the Lord nagpapahinga sila sa Panginoon nagpapahinga sila sa kanilang mga gawa ang taong namatay ay nagpapahinga lamang sa kanyang mga gawa so we rest in our work in our service to the Lord so when we become soldiers of Jesus Christ pastors when we become workers of God we will work from our labor 
and our work will be enlisted in the blessed book of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ililista ng Panginoon ang lahat ng ating paglilingkod sa aklat at talaan ng kanyang mga laala. Mga kapatid, si Pastor Dan Mora ay nagpahinga na sa kanyang paglilingkod. Sa mahabang panahon na kanyang ginawa ang lahat, hindi man po siya perfect na isang pastor. Hindi siya isang perfect na Seventh-day Adventist. Hindi man siya maging perfect na isang ama sa kanyang, mga, sa kanyang pamilya. But I believe, with Jesus, He is perfect. Amen? Because Jesus said, those who believe in me, those who believe in me, even though they are sinners, they will be justified. And those who are justified by the blood of Jesus Christ, nobody has the right to say that that man is not righteous. Pastor Dan Mora believed in Jesus Christ. He was washed by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Just like you and me. Kaya ang sabi po ni King David, yun nga mga pinatawad ng Panginoon sa kanilang mga kasalanan ay mga pinagpala ng Panginoon. Mapapalad ang mga taong pinatawad ng Panginoon ang kanilang mga kasalanan. They will become righteous in the sight of God. So I believe this evening by the comfort from the Word of God, Pastor Dan Mora rested from his labor and his work and service to the Lord. But his faith would be the foundation of this family. Kagaya ng ginawa ng Panginoon kay Pastor Dan Mora, yung di ang naranas sa abilayan na bumubuhay sa kanyang pamina ng mga sabiyan. Si Pastor Dan Mora ay nagpahinga at pagkatapos ng kanyang kapahingahan sa kanyang kamatayan ay sinabi rin ang ating Panginoong Yesu Cristo and if we believe that Jesus died and rose again even so God will bring with Him those who sleep in Jesus for this we say to you by the word of the Lord that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will be by no means precede those who are asleep for the Lord Himself will descend from heaven and with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. So there will be a reality of resting from labor, and there will be also a resurrection, the truth of life, the reality of life. Magpapahinga tayong lahat, tutulog sa ating mga, mga gawain tayong magpapahinga. But the word of the Lord said, there will be a resurrection. So pagkatapos po ng kalagayan, ipas